What's the size of the dividend that you expect moving forward? Yeah, I think also it's a high dividend um, 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 bank, so Standard Charter, and so it's, it's always has. And I think also um, the, the fact that so they're not uh, announcing any new share buybacks, that so it essentially puts um, the uh, the bank on a say uh, kind of seven percent dividend yield. So I think also this is uh, uh, what the what the margin is extrapolating from the underlying um, uh, growth of the business. Yeah. Chart also announced that it's going to reduce funding for carbon intensive sectors. What does that mean for the business moving forward? Yeah, this is a, um, I think also is a, uh, the crucial point for Standard Charter uh, in terms of strategic evolution. I think also the bank has some very um, uh, important strength, for example, so the fact that the geographic footprint, 80% in Asia, the fact that the main regulator on the POA here in the UK is actually very, has embraced the so-called green revolution. The fact that the CEO of Standard Charter also sits on a um, commission, is a chair of a commission to scale the carbon market. I think uh, also the bank so, and that's so. If you want as a weakness, so it gets criticized from many NGOs in terms of its cold policy, which some of those NGOs think so they could be more, um, let's say, progressive. I think the, here the uh, the um, the challenge for the management is to uh, capitalize on what they achieve. I think also they're very well ahead in terms of target uh, in this uh, green financing. Also only a year and a half into the into the five year plan. Uh, the idea is sort of if you want to so rebrand Standard Charter as sort of global green bank, and I think also they do have the capacity because so they do, they do serve. Uh, all those emerging markets, especially in uh, on, on the debt capital market, so that means loans, bond offering, and potential also right. corporate finance. The um, the challenge here is to say join up so with a right. more uh, in a better cold policy. Hmm. Filippo, I also wanted to uh, get your reaction to another significant story in the banking space: the Barclay CEO Jess Staley announcing that he would be stepping down as a result of this Jeffrey Epstein probe. How consequential is this going to be for Barclays as a business and do you see a material impact for investors? Well, frankly, no, because I think the uh, this section plan was to some extent already in place. And so with the head of the global um, capital market actually becoming the CEO, he was promoted uh, president a year ago in a management reshuffle. And he was uh, also just a uh, key lieutenant. So I actually see it, uh, A, because it's an internal succession, and B, because of the the fact that the new CEO has been involved in the implementation execution of the previous strategy. I don't think so Barclays so should deviate materially from the current strategy, which to some extent is uh, working very well because I think the performance of the investment bank as Barclays over the last, say, two, two and a half years had to some extent vindicated the, uh, say the question mark that, were, that rose uh, when the, this current strategy was announced. So I don't expect any significant deviation from, from that.